Medical Disclaimer This video is for informational purposes. It does not replace the medical advice of a trained doctor. Seek medical advice before beginning any treatment plan. Hi, welcome back to Mike's Diabetes World. I want to take a look at this. I think I showed it last video. This tells me how well I'm doing time and range. And these are normal blood sugars. But if you're unable to get to these to these readings and your blood sugars are way out of the left field, it's time to speak to your diabetic doctor. Step one, I know in an awful lot of provinces in Canada, and I think in the States too, I'm not sure, but finding just a normal doctor is difficult. It's also an endocrinologist who is a diabetic doctor can also be difficult. I was lucky when my endocrinologist moved away from taking on patients and moved towards teaching at the, our University of British Columbia. I had a choice of other endocrinologists, and I would have been great with any single one of them because they all knew me. That may be not the greatest, but they did all the, they all, all knew me, okay? So I had kind of just, she finished, I moved on to my new endocrinologist. And I say new, but it was before the pandemic, so I've had him for a while. And I'm sorry, I'm moving my hand. Let's, let's just hold on to it, shall we? Now, it's great that we can all get down to perfect blood sugars. But there are reasons why you're not. You could be fighting a complication where it won't allow you to get that tight control that we all need. Someone like myself who is labile and I'm under constant watching and I know that sounds bad but I'm on a situation where my blood sugars can go out of range for who knows what reason. Today is not a good day. I've shown this before. But my blood sugar is over 18. And you can see I really haven't dipped that much. But tonight, for some reason, I go down. You want to, number two, get in touch with a diabetes center. Um... For me, there was one in New Westminster who saw me. The nurse moved out of New Westminster and went to... She's out of Maple Ridge now. So she went another place. And then she's now out of Maple Ridge, which is great. It's the other town. But... I don't think I've really sat down with her and had a one-on-one. -on -one. It's usually by my phone, and I'll call her or we'll set up an appointment, and we'll do one-on-one -on -one so I don't have to always be going in, which is good because it's a good trip in to Maple Ridge Hospital or wherever she practices out of. 
I know it's not the hospital, but... So, two, if you're having problems, one is get an endocrinologist. Ask your doctor. Two is to get on with a diabetes center and a diabetic nurse. They may set up a program for you. Excuse me, it's telling me I'm a little high. But don't let, don't put it off. People will get out of control and find them fighting for their lives and just say, oh, I wish I had better control. Now is the time to act. And it's not, oh, well, I've said this before, it's not, oh, next Monday I'll start. Monday's a good day. No, what's the matter with the next time you take a blood sugar? Start from that very moment. I go through times when my blood sugar is out of whack. A lot of times, I have nothing to do with it. There are times, let's just say some factors. Is it food to take? Have I eaten more? I may order food in and still eat dinner. It's just, not the greatest habit to have, but I'm trying to work on it. Two, keeping my testing to a minimum, but enough to cover me. So for a type one diabetic, it's usually four times a day. Breakfast, before breakfast, before lunch, before dinner and before bed, or what they call or HS, now it's just bedtime, but when I started my diabetes journey, it was HS. So, we need to be aware of our numbers. Now, diabetes control also depends on how well your numbers look for your heart, your blood pressure. There's another one too. How much weight you're carrying. It's very easy for a type one to be had weight concerns. Don't be happy that your blood sugars, oh, my blood sugars are perfect. I, sorry, that's the other one. Without taking a look at the whole body, diabetes affects everything because it's the blood and the sugar molecules will go with the flow in the blood. So it reaches every part of your body. That's why a lot of diabetics have problems with the eyes, with high blood sugar, and also the heart. I will talk about this a later day. Don't, don't be complacent. Find some little thing that you can change that will help your diabetes control. It could be, well, Today we're going to start working on the diet. Am I going to eat foods with a high glycemic index or a low glycemic index? Part of that could be first time is to go see a diabetic um, dietitian, somebody who could help you. Learn and utilize carb counting. I've said it before that type 1 diabetics can eat whatever they want as long as they count the carbs and take the proper insulin. And don't do it every single day. 
Make sure you're taking all your medications. We've talked about how diabetes will affect all your complications. So just say, oh, well, I took my insulin. I'm fine. Is not an answer. You need to make sure that you take any medication you're on. It will help your body control your blood sugars. Okay, you may have to take insulin to control your blood sugars. <coughs> Excuse me, but you don't want to make your body work harder. So monitor your blood sugars. Monitor what you eat. Get out and move. Right now I'm in a stage of my life where I can't get comfortable to get up and sit in my chair to move about, and I'm really starting to miss it. We're working on getting me a chair so that I can get up, get, be comfortable. You know, I could go out, go down to the store. I could live life. And that's the important thing also. Well, there's so much to cover in type 1 diabetes. It's important that you get out and you have fun. I've mentioned this before. Don't hide behind the diabetes. Do all you can to solve your blood sugars. And there we can keep growing and making lives so much better for ourselves. You want to be there to see your son and your daughter get married, have grandchildren. You may have one to finish school. All these things, you may have a new job. All these things, you'll do so much better being in tight control. Your body will thank you too. Just remember, don't let diabetes control you. You control diabetes, or you do everything you can to help. And with that, have a great day, and we'll talk again soon. Bye now. My email is mikesdiabetesworld at gmail.com. Mike's Diabetes World at gmail.com